My Tech Arena, are you ready for a winner's bracket final? Then let's get on with it. It's time for game number one with Odie, Pixel, and Cinderin. So just getting five CS in the first two waves is honestly for me is is a really good beginning for Darkseer, and it's what we expected, right? This is the kind of lane where he's not going to be bullied way too hard. This is actually an excellently played wave from Ace. He got all of those as well. So nine CS here, first three waves. Nine out of 12 is pretty much the dream here. Bottom lane. Time for Jing Chu, and they'll have him. Zeraccio picks up the first blood. This is such a nasty lane, Maiden Weaver. This is obviously a recipe gaming gladiators have been doing for a long time. Just massive laning focus. They won some of their games extremely quickly throughout all of the year by just snowballing from the first 10 minutes onwards. Seen of an effort here for Tianmeng to trap in Ace, but the surge is up. Ace is able to get away, and Tianmeng is a couple of hits from him taking out Tofu. Can he find him with a rocket barrage? He certainly can. As once more, Tianming's just struggling to take these trades top. Couple of deaths back to back, and once more a situation where, well, this time they will get Tofu at least. XM takes the time to head over from mid and make sure that Azure can at least find something in return for losing the clock a second time. At the same time, though, he's opting for a build that is rather uncharacteristically untanky, I would say, for Dark Zero. A lot of the time in the past. Okay, hang on. Quinn. They're going to make the effort here for Quinn. For the combo, they've got wow. the full lockdown. Very nicely executed there. XM getting the back up from Jin Q to take Quinn down. That was clean. Now, Quinn's coming up here as well. This ward down. XM already retreating from this, this top lane area. An ace, he's going to try and cut things off with the wall. This will cause TPs to come in for, from return from Azure Ray. They're turning with the snake. Duracho in on top of them. They're trying their best to focus Charming first. They'll get him. Now they can turn their attention over towards low. Jinku trying to help out. Does kill him with a two-man cook in the blast, but he's not enough to kill a Duracho. Duracho out of the time lapse. XM will trample over them all. It gets the grab. Vacuum back onto the three of them. The crush comes out. Low's going to get taken out. They've lost three of them. They're going to lose a fourth. XM also to fall. As Azure Ray try and respond to this, XXS still doing his best to battle on. He'll get the trap onto Duracho over the arena, so XX is at least able to redeem the fight a little bit here for Azure Ray, but he's still on the retreat, and he may not get out with his life. The surge is there on Quinn, helping him close the gap in on towards XXS, as Gaming Gladiators, they'll get an effective team wipe against Azure Ray here nine minutes in. Such a massive rotation, right? Gaming Gladiators showing up with five heroes top minute nine, until sure, XXS cleans up the Weaver kill, which is a good trade, all things considered, but... Yeah, really, really game nice. That is, they're game. considering going again. They yep. know with the way the last play went on that Azure Ray won't have all their TPs at the ready here, so they can go aggressive. Dracho trying to get in on top of low, but the control's there for Tian Min. He actually doesn't have time left uh, he's, yet. He's taken quite a lot of damage here from the tower, but the Shikuchi's okay. back up. He'll be fine. <laughs> Quinn, he's got an invis, and he's going to be able to close in straight away on towards low. As I said, with the way that the last fight went, the fact they'd already used their TPs to try and win the last fight this tier one, there's no backup. Azure Ray can't afford to send anyone up here again. They just don't have the cooldown. So low, he's dead again. Gaming Gladiators knowing that they could strike back a second time here. They'll also be able to find Tianming desperately trying to escape through the Twin Gates. Not the part of the map that Lo and Tianming could afford to come back to Sind after that one. And this lines up really well as well with the Siege Creep, right? So this is a 10 minute wave and Ace will be able to tank this tower for quite a while for his Siege if he wants to. Actually choosing to back off a little bit to the as well. Duracho is feeling strong. He's going to try and set up to XXSSSS. Tries to do the arena combo with the spears off the mark. We're still going to grab him from XM. Time lapse, it's available. Duracho able to get back pretty much up to full HP as Gaming Gladiators, they look to be on track to be taking another fight. Jin Q and XX both falling low. They'll be able to finish off Tofu with the spear, but Duracho will find Jin Q. He's going to look to chase down XXS. The Shikuchi up again. The Urn of Shadows ticking him down. He'll get the double. Double. Sure, Seller is lost, but this is a cleanup for Duracho for sure. As Quinn in with the backup. Oh, the hook shot is there in time over towards the creep wave. Slick. That might just save his life. We'll see if Duracho is able to dive in for this. Actually, Tiamming's sort of hovering around a little bit. Quinn is able to jump straight forward across the cogs. Set up for a oh. triple kill on Duracho. They may not even be done yet. Duracho is going to turn towards XM. Close the gap. The Scrooge gets the bugs out. It's a lot of minus armor. XM's got the ult to control him. The kisses, the cookie. Can they punish Duracho? Duracho is still alive. Gets the kill, but he will die. <laughs> Duracho, though, he'll take that any day of the week. An ultra kill here for the Weaver. Just 12 minutes in coming up on the clock. And all of this for me really comes back to the choice from Gaiman to go as five top minute nine, right? That really started the snowball here. Quinn going in deep, but will back off at the right time. He's got a lot of backup, though, here, Quinn. XXS, does he want to try and set up a fight here with the arena? Do they want to look to go for Ace or Sailor? We'll see what XXS 
Ops for onto the side. They'll go for the easier pick off. They'll catch Tofu. They'll drop the well. XXX, but Quinn's just in on top of him and completely destroys it. XXX gone in an instant. And Tofu didn't even die. They didn't have enough damage. You have two choices. Either you run into them in a smoke and try to find an initiation and win a fight to get the area back, or you give up that area and try to mirror and do the same thing bottom. Which hasn't really seemed to be Azure's approach to this. They keep oh, running and fighting there. them. You see the way that the Atrium's being pulled out to the side. They make the jump. Lowe's going to get cookied out to the side. XM charging forward, trying to hold back Duracho and Ace. But Lowe is falling out of mana. Duracho's in on top of him. Lowe goes down. Maybe they can get Ace in return. No, they can't. He's able to pop the heel. Head out of there. Jump forward from Quinn. He's in with a crush onto Tian Ming. Duracho, he's even pushing on for more. They'll get the second. XM had to try and charge away back up the high. But Duracho Shikuchi's out. They can't even punish the Weaver. Duracho lives. Everyone lives on Gaming Gladiators. As once again, they're not even done. Quinn, he's diving up to the high. Right under the tier three, he's going for XM. He's going for probably the both for them if he can survive for this. He'll take it out down XM with the help of Ace in the Iron Shell. Oh, Will fuck. die for this. But once again, sort of a four for one trade. We saw down bottom, you know, Duracho had a bit of action, bit of fun with the dive, getting away with an ultra kill. And I mean, just 15 minutes in under tier fours. Nice solar crest obviously got them the counter kill, right? That barrier being placed onto the prime. Yeah, was nice from Jin Q, but I did let him live that little extra longer. I mean, of course, getting gladiators as soon as they're all back up, they're ready to go again. I will oh. say... Oh, he's trying to farm okay. it. Underneath the tier two, pretty far out in the middle lane. He'll get the stone gaze off. But the wall is down upon him. He's dead again. Not a chance here for low. As Azure, they're really slipping far from, from farther and farther behind. I mean, maybe if these were sort of situations where it's the four of them outside of low getting caught, there would be some hope here for the Medusa lineup. They're going to try and fight with the That's a good arena. The arena. They've got the combo and on to Quinn. Quinn caught and taken out, finally. They'll be able to take Quinn out towards the beginning of the fight. Can they go for anything more after it? I don't think so, because Duracho is chasing them up to the high ground. XM, he'll be able to control them a little bit, but won't be able to survive. Ace gets the double. They may have got Quinn, as I said, towards the beginning of the fight this time around. It still didn't matter. Key kill on the Medusa, so they feel like they can con commit into additional fights, and they're absolutely right once again. Now 10k lead, and I think the fascinating thing about this game state, your 10k gold down minute 17, which is a ton. This is a game compared to a lot of other ones we've seen. Okay, hang on. Well, let's see if XM gets out of this one alive. Looks like he might. And the cogs laid down if Tian Ming will hold back Seller in Tofu. XX says he's going to want to try and punish this. They'll get the drag back on to Celery with the spear. Tofu is trying to help Celery out. Definitely taking a bit of time to take down the sea, and they have to drop the kisses as well to actually finish off this kill slowly, but surely they will get him. Meanwhile, Dratch is playing oh, around nice Lowe. Lowe's going to try for the TPI to damage there. It is. They've got the vacuum as well. They'll be able to stop Lowe from escaping. All a bit of a distraction, really. You know, short gaming gladiators lose their two supports around the mid down to this aggressive play. And you were discussing in the beginning of the game, is Starks here going to be an amazing pick? Nobody on the dire side is buying magic resist, right? You have to buy armor. So this is also a beauty of this lineup that there's no be-all, end-all item that you can solve both problems with. I'm actually surprised he had that little damage, I'll be honest. When we saw the break, I'm like, really? <laughs> nice success. He's going for Tofu. Now that oh. can drop the kisses as well. It may just be a jar of support, but still takes an awful lot to take down at this moment. And of course, Gaming Gladiators, they'll try and find something in return. They get the jump in onto XXS. See if they want to go for more here under the tier two tower, Quinn. He's in onto XM, Ace setting up, gets the wall drop down onto low. As XM, they're, they're gonna get XM, they may even get more, because Duracho, he's already all the way up to Jin Q. He's going past the tier three, knows he can play aggressive here with the time lapse to back off if necessary. He'll now pop it to get the heal off. Low's gonna get cookie back, but he's getting bashed down low. He's now out of mana, a couple more hits will do it, and there it is. Duracho takes low down. Three dead. They just cannot fight them right now. 21 yeah. minutes in, I think. Oh, okay, this time round, Jin Q was able to get out on the map and make sure that Duracho wasn't able to steal another Wisdom rune. See if it might cost him his life. Both Nothing the comes to free Owen. Connect and indeed he's going to be gone. Quinn, he can look for the jump. There it is. The three-man crush into the vacuum. Gaming Gladiators is there looking to clean up once more. Okay. Hey, he's going to come charge you across. Gets the grab on towards Ace, so it's something. Can they find anything out that Tianming's gone? Celery lays down the O. It's going to be another cleanup again here for Gaming Gladiators. Every single trade easily going gaming's way. They keep fishing, you know. They send in this one Weaver, they send in this one Slaughter to start off. You don't want to stone gaze an arena that. You want the bigger pick. Uh, okay, this is going to work. Underestimate the new Ooh, Tormentor. XX is going to get the jump against the Spear as well. And what's your That's the Aegis gone. Tofu also to fall. 
Can they go for a second round on Duracho? That's the question. EQ stepping up, he'll get the dust off. Duracho is just going to go full aggressive. He knows he's got Quinn backing him up here. Johnson gets the crush up on towards XXS. They'll take him out. Will indeed find Jinkyu as well, and poor Ox Yangming, he tried to come round through the back lines to help out in this fight, but he'll only just get taken out as well. Triple kill for Duraccio. Still just farmed up enough to do it. Regardless, in these 15 seconds, this lane's gone. That's a wild one. What a clean game. 23 that. minutes in. One. 50 kills in 23 minutes. No. He's got to get out of here. Oh. He'll be there in time. They don't have eyes on him, so Lo will be fine. Chen might not be so lucky. He probably not so much. And I think he made some sort of cute hookshot play to get away. Oh, the blood grenade. He tried his best. That he's gone. Meanwhile, in the base, Diretio going for XM. Ace is here to help out. XM desperately trying to get towards the fountain, at least the safety of it. And it, it will be there, so. Got the fortification, Azure Ray. Diretio still poking at them. Not fearful at all of whatever they may throw at him with the BKB now finished on this Weaver. They'll jump him. They'll look for the combo. Have they got anywhere near enough to burst him? The cookie's there. The whole jump comes through. They have. They've been able to 100 to 0. Duraccio, can they get anything more? They've lost XXS in return. The wall's been dropped down. Kiss is coming in from Jinkyu. Tofu trying to approach in the middle of the wall. Pops the Shivas. Quinn is in with a crush. Triple kill here for the slaughter. And Quinn, he's hungry for more. Goes over to Jinkyu and XM under the tier 4s. They're going to be able to take out the both of them. The crush is there. Double kill for Tofu. As Azure, they're just too far behind. It doesn't matter if they can take out Duracho at the start of this fight. When's the last time you saw a gyro with Shiva's own? It's been a while. This is probably a build you did last patch when it wasn't good. You'd think they had Trek Gold, being 30k ahead minute 27 just from fighting primarily. Nobody on their side has like absurd amounts of CS, I would say. that Nobody's even cracked 200, which is quite unusual. At pro level of play, 28 minutes and in. Quinn. Okay. Three man crushes there, they're ready to go again. They get the vacuum on towards the two of them. XM oh gets completely shredded. Duracho heads in and takes out Tian Ming. Azure on the retreat. Low dying in a couple of hits. It's over. GG is called. Gaming Gladiators absolutely stomping Azure here in this game one. Duracho ending with another ultra kill. In 28 minutes, 46 to 16, 34k net worth lead here for Gaming Gladiators. This was a this was an insane performance from the Sind. And uh, see what some of these other heroes are. XM obviously bringing out the Death Prophet. Right, yep. got uh, some changes. We Pretty fresh too. Nice little uh, little bit of a slow now on the silence. Could definitely make a little bit of a difference in these fights. Yeah, what do you think of that one? Oh, seems pretty good, right? Seems like a little bit of a strange change, isn't it? I mean, I guess they, they wanted to buff the hero, and that's sure. sort of the way they go with it. <laughs> I mean, I agree with that. Yeah. That was definitely the intent. <laughs> XM, oh, I'm talking about the hero. It. Well, it's looking like it's in a spot of bother here as indeed Quinn will manage to get first blood against him. Not the way XM wants to be starting that mid matchup. I don't think Azure should be looking to rotate mid. I don't think it's really worth it. The kill is very difficult for them to execute with only one support plus DP. Even on level 6 DP, there's no guarantee they'll pull it off. Oh, Celery very close there, but... Oh, I mean, Jinq yeah. could be in trouble there. Duraccio and Celery punching back into him. The blood grenade out. A couple more punches, but the stun, it's back up in time. He's got another concoction to throw out though, Duraccio, and that will allow him to get the kill. Blood Grenade was thrown out by Jinq on his way out, and that sets up for XXS to end up getting the bigger cleanup as he takes out the carry. Dyer's top tower is under attack. It's XM. Still yet to find a chance, really, to make a play with the Exorcism. Might be on the receiving end instead here. They're no mana. Try and set up upon him. And RTP's coming in, but some good body blocks here from Stellary. The Telekinesis is back from Sober as well. XM's trying to heal up with a Siphon, but he's gone. Quinn able to take him out. A painful death here in the middle lane, and Azure Ray, they may just lose more. The Tornado from Quinn catches onto Tian Ming. Double kill for the Invoker. I mean, this has got to hurt. They're, they're, they're getting crushed here around this mid area of the map. Very much a momentum based hero. It's coming up to nine minutes, and there's been no pushing whatsoever around an Exorcism yet, Sin. Yeah, it's just Gaming Gladiators with the better rotations, right? They might find Jinq here as well. I mean, Quinn, he's just playing around with them. Tofu, he'll, he'll come in to finish up the kill. The split's there as uh, XXS has rotated over. They have the Exorcism. They've got to punish this, but Quinn, he's fine. The Wild Wing Ripper play there from Celery, pushing Quinn back to safety. Ace has turned up. He's going to start trying to hold back and deal with the Primal Split. I mean, Azure, they pop the split. They pop the Exorcism. They're not getting anything for it, though. They'll lose Tian Ming. The split comes to an end. XXS is going 
going down. I mean, it's getting painfuler and painfuler here for Azure Ray. A situation they use these two big ultimates in, and they lose the team fight under their own tier one. Just everything coming together for the side of Game I mean, Gladiator. It's, it's getting pretty crazy. It really is. The fact that we saw what last game. Slow. He's vesseled. And he's dead. It's getting rough. It's getting rough. And if anything, even rougher than game one with this sort of elite. 10 to 1, 10 minutes in, 7k advantage. Tofu, <laughs> he played that fight with his hands off the keyboard. <laughs> They're making it look easy here, gaming gladiators. Azure Ray, they've got to do something or at least stop gaming gladiators from being able to do everything. That's Tianming. He will at least get away for now from Ace. But that, no, he won't. Chakram actually catches him. Ace, he's been ruptured. This should be a kill. They'll finally be able to put a stop to the Timber Saw at least. It's going to cost them a tower, though. Radiance so is it re does it really feel good? Not really. Yep. Alchemist, he's got his Radiance. Duracho, yep. he doesn't even need to be here. The Gaming Gladiators are doing it for them. Duracho is going to be sort of the, the best backup policy ever they with how much like farm he's got. Lowe's gone. And it really is, as you said already, Tofu was doing more with the first exorcism. Now it's, you know, it's, there's no argument about it at all. He is doing more with these ghosts than XM's been able to so far this game. Might end up losing them now, potentially. Yes. He will. Put an end to him, Quinn. He's got the backup of Ace. I'm afraid to start to tease around with him. Split is at the ready. If XXX is forced to, to pop it, he will. Put the split here. And turn towards Ace. Dracho just gets thrown up the air. Doesn't mean he gets caught out by the self concoction. Drop down the acid spray. Low, trying to see if he can get a chase onto either of them. Dracho, he'll bail out of this one. As they'll leave Ace behind. Azure A starting to be able to take something at least from Gaming Gladius is when they go for this aggressive play. He has no TP on him. Is there TP coming out of the courier? That's very unfortunate. He just TP'd here, didn't he? No, he's, he's got a TP available. Oh, he does. It's coming. Well, let's see if he gets oh, to go down. I, I don't know if he's getting off the cliff, though. He does have split, XXS at least. Uh, in fact, Ace is going to join him. Up he goes, down he goes, XXS. Can he get the split off? He can't. The cold snap's there. He's out of mana. Dorado has joined the game. Player five. And he's ready for right. more. He's over towards XM straight away. The tornado here perfectly lined up. They are trying to block off XM's escape. He's been spirit vessel. They found a third kill. Tian Main will be lucky to TP out just in time. But three dead on Azure Ray. This tier two in trouble. Going for that AC next. Bottom lane. Jin Q. He better hope they don't they don't find him here. On his own in the trees. TP back. He's thinking about trying to set up. He's trying for the setup, but he immediately gets burst. They wanted to go for Quinn, but Quinn, he's fine. XXS has to split back underneath the tier two. Hold on to the split at least for now. Yeah. Understandable that he wanted to take this initiative because they do have that BKB and they will identify that there has to be a ward here. So good read there from Tianming, but nothing going to come from it. Kim and Gladiators just pull one on them again and they still stick around in the neighborhood. So Celery will show. XXS stepping up. It Think about the split, but the Tornado does catch him. Ace jumps in with a burst. XXS managed to get the split off just in time. He's Ace and he's going to... Okay, he got, got Cyclone. The, they've got the, the chance to stop him at least. Celery's also got for the TP out. XM can't put a stop to that one. The Deafening Blast pushes back the three of them. Lowe's dead. Tian Ming and Jin Q trying to stand their ground and take out Ace. Ace finally falls. Takes a lot. Can Azure get more? Now look over towards Quinn. They've got the detection. Stunned there from Jin Q. They're locking Quinn down. The Spirit Vessel bringing him down low. They've finally been able to put an anti evoker But Taracho, he's looking for a bit of a cleanup on his own. He'll jump in over towards XXS. He'll take out Tian Ming. Tofu's got the control. Throwing back XM. XM pops the BKB. He'll go for the TP out himself. And with the BKB TP, he will live. A little bit of a punch back from Azure as they do manage to get Ace and Quinn. Jin Q. Got the shard online, so he's ready to mana drain. Kill Quinn. Do they want to try and jump this Dracho? He's going to go in. Blinks forward, looks to straight away take down Jin Q here with the help of Quinn. The silence out, but a quick force to the low ground. They'll keep the Aegis protected. Dracho, Chemical Rage is back up. Yeah, all the damage just amounts to nothing here. The heal. Radiant he's going to be ready right to jump again. again. He's straight in. Okay. He knows that XM's BKB is still on cooldown. He's going to focus the Death Prophet first with the stun. Turns now over towards Tian Ming. A couple of hits and Tian Ming has to force back to base. 
He's just sort of creating space here, pushing them back. Celery coming in with the heels to make sure the Duracho can step back and get back on with the Siege. They're onto the tier threes, it's gone. And the, the fight plan here for Azure is don't fight. They're waiting for the Bloodseeker BKB. That's going to cost them a lane. See if this ends up paying off with a team fight win, but considering the oh, oh. Jing Ju, he's draining them. It doesn't matter though. Gets caught by the stun of the sun strike. He's out. Jump forward onto Tian Ming. They've got the timber chain and the chakram. He's gone. They'll buy back here on Jing Ju. That's the first life taken out from Duraccio. They can do it a second time. XM. The BKB. The rupture. Duraccio is gonna go for the BKB TP out. They can't stop that. Duraccio escapes. Celery, he'll get trapped in the trees and left behind. They'll drop the finger for him. <laughs> Win. Didn't even deal damage with it. Should be fine as well. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got the stack though, right? You know? I mean, yeah, you always get the stack yeah, you if you cast stack. it, but it's like the biggest here, depending on how it's pulled. But I'll tell you anecdotally, this is not going to be 25. But it's progress for the side of Azure. Until he ends up being forced to split here, potentially. Uh, now comes the split. Okay, they rupture. have got the rupture. They've got a chance here, maybe, of taking Ace down. He'll stand his ground against the split for now. Tian Meng steps up. He's got the ult as well. The freezing build coming in. Ace falling low to force the side below. Puts the BKB, chasing him down. They finish off the kill. Rip Storm on towards Celery. The BKB for low coming to an end. And Duracho punishes it perfectly. Jumps him with a concoction. They take out low. Tofu now with a stolen mana drain. Taking the mana out of the entirety of the team of Azure Ray. Azure's got to run. XM's out of mana. Dracho's closing in on him. Another concoction throughout the BKP. It's there. He'll blink forward. Looking to finish up the kill. XXX is trying to hold him back. And it's enough to allow XM to get back to the low ground. The drain on drain here coming out from both sides. The Rubik versus the Lion. <laughs> Who drains the best? That's some Harry Potter shit. What's this? <laughs> we have seen if they do prioritize the target, get in with the rupture. They can pop their BKBs and commit for kill. Oh, they can get more than just that one. Oh, Ming. Jian Ming. Uh, he's going to get quite a nasty surprise here. It does force to the side, but impetuses will do it. Jian Ming gone. He has got a buyback. This is a fast push with Alacrity and Solar Crest. AC. Okay, the they're gonna commit. They're gonna try and full commit here. Over towards the Alchemist. Look at what Dredge is forced to start the rush. bringing him alone. They're straight on top of him. He turns. Puts the BKB. He's got the concoction ready to go. Beating it to low. Takes him out. Dredge is still alive over the chemical rage. Finally, he falls. They've killed the Alchemist. Can they get more? XM steps in, trying to run down Celery. The drain coming out from Jin Q. Let's jump on towards Tian Ming. They got the hex on the way. He's out of mana pretty much. Jin Q pretty much taking the entirety of Ace's mana. But three heroes are dead on Azure Ray. I don't think Gaming Gladiators will care at all. They can keep this push going. And the second rack's going down. <laughs> They're just draining the entire team, both of them, and tipping each other while draining. This is so bizarre. Look at this. I mean, he, he got his mana, but uh, he's got his life. Oh, God. The mid racks that are gone. So funny. But yeah, at the end of the day, I mean, honestly. Azure, I love that they went for that play on the Alk. It was kind of close. If they have a little bit it more was. damage in the tank and burst him, this could have been something, but he ends up using everything and fighting back for so damn long before they're finally taken down. XM, this is a bit ambitious, yeah, to I say mean, the least. Straight up naive. He's got a buyback. Going in there. Yeah, no benefit, though. We'll see if they go for one final fight. Oh, the, the drain's there. Drain, I mean, loads drain. Of, completely out of mana. Save for XXS. Tofu stealing it all. As it's okay. called, GG is called, Gaming Gladiators will go straight to the Grand Finals here with uh, one of their best series performances I've ever seen ever, especially to happen in an upper bracket finals. 2-0, and Sin, it was not even close. 33-11, 30 minutes in, 34k lead. They're looking on top of the world again here, Sin.